Busy afternoon. News alert now for you on Biogen. Meg Terrell has the details. Meg. Hey, Sarah. Well, these were super highly anticipated clinical trial results for Biogen and its Japanese partner, ASI, uh, in Alzheimer's disease. Those results coming in and showing on the highest dose in this clinical trial, the disease progression of Alzheimer's, that thinking clearly in memory, uh, was slowed by 30% compared with placebo. However, you are seeing the stock down 6 or 7% in the after hours as investors try to parse through these data and really figure out how well the drug was working. Now, that improvement in cognition was paired with a clearance of the amyloid plaques in the brain. Uh, what some supporters say is proof of this amyloid hypothesis, really saying that clearing these brain plaques is associated with changing uh, the effects or the course of the disease. But you are seeing the stock down here as uh, some investors may be disappointed in some of the details uh, of the results, seeing the highest dose worked there, but some of the lower doses may not have corresponded the way they were looking for. And we are still parsing through these data, and we'll bring you any more as we understand this stock reaction. Uh, the companies themselves, of course, claiming victory here and saying this looks like a good trial. They're going to talk to regulators. Uh, really quickly, I'll just direct you to Sarepta. That's another after hours biotech mover. Some news just crossing that the company's Duchenne muscular dystrophy gene therapy clinical trial has been placed on an FDA clinical hold. Uh, it appears to be because of a manufacturing issue. They say there have been no safety concerns observed there. The stock had been down almost 10 percent, now down only about 3.8 percent on this news. We have seen a lot of these gene therapy trials placed on clinical hold as the FDA uh, just makes sure of the safety. And in this case, it is a manufacturing thing. Uh, they say this shouldn't delay them, and they are planning on starting a pivotal trial uh, by the end of the year this year, guys. Well, back over to you. Meg, just to go back to Biogen, uh, and uh, the headlines sound very positive. The stock moved down 6%. I guess it's important to remember that the first details of this uh, study came out about a month ago, and it jumped 20% then. So it's just pairing back some general gains from this good news over the last month or so. Yeah, there was a huge gain for both Biogen and ESI. I think the companies together gained $20 billion in market value um, when they reported that the trial had worked because that was so unexpected. The stocks continued to rise into today, so perhaps it's not so surprising, even on what looks like a possibly positive headline, uh, they are giving back some gains now. Um, however, but isn't this a big step forward for, I mean, just for clients, just for patients and, and healthcare in general, that we were able to find something to actually slow the progression of this disease? Yes, you would think so. And on the highest dose, it does look like it slows the progression of the disease. What it appears that people are concerned about is that um, the lower doses of the drug may not correspond uh, in the way that people expect it. And so there's just a little bit of confusion about these data right now as people parse through it uh, and try to really understand how well the drug is actually working. Alzheimer's is incredibly complicated, and these things can be confusing, so that's probably why you're seeing the stock react the way it is. Esai, though, in a media briefing earlier, said these look like really good data, and they are prepared to talk to regulators about how to move forward. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.